Hi, I'm Amy Stobbold and this is Zante. I'm an international dressage rider based in West Sussex. This horse is currently working at Advanced Medium and today I'm going to be taking you through some of the movements in Medium. So first of all we're going to go through um, a warm-up routine that I do with all my horses. Um, he gets quite tense this horse so I'm going to be concentrating on rhythm, suppleness and that he stays calm. So it's really important when we're warming up the horses to make sure that they're soft and they're supple, that they move all their muscles. They've been standing in the stable probably for about 12 hours, um, especially if it's the first horse you're bringing out. So it's very important that we just let them warm up their muscles gently and gradually. like a wiggly work so that's why I ride a lot on the inside track I also make sure that he doesn't get behind my legs because even though he is tense he does sometimes try to climb behind me so I'm thinking all the time keeping the transitions forward and in front of my legs After the warm up we're going to be doing some transitions just to get the horse listening to us, concentrating on what we want to do and get the hind legs underneath them so that we can start to bring them up in the frame before we start doing the movements for medium. With young horses, it's very important that we start teaching them lateral work. Basics are leg yielding, developing onto shoulder in, travers and half pass. This horse is currently working at advanced medium, so today I'm going to be showing you shoulder in, travers and later on developing into half pass. So first of all, today we're going to be going through shoulder in. It's very important with shoulder in that you teach this to horses in the correct way. They should be on three tracks and you should be thinking that you're horses are into both reins 
from both of your legs. I'll show you a good one and I'll show you a bad one. shoulder in I did, you could see that the horse was clearly on three tracks, the rhythm stayed the same and he had equal feel in both reins, left and right. The second one you could see that the, the, the angle was varying, it was far too deep, too much bend and no real direction. Next I'm going to be showing you travers. Travers is basically where the shoulders stay on the track and the hind legs come off the track. Ideally three should be seeing three tracks. Um, I'll first of all show you a good one and then I'll show you a bad one. As you can see with those two traffic, the first one was balanced in rhythm, his front legs were on the track, his ears were pointing towards the camera and he stayed pretty in a good rhythm. The second one you can see that the ears are pointing to the outside, then the high legs come in too much and this is quite a common fault with people with traffic. The ears must be pointing forward at all the time and the shoulders must be on the track with the high quarters in on the bottom of the track. As you can see, today is quite a hot day, so the flies are quite bad, so that's why he's being a bit irritable. So next we're going to be doing half pass. Half pass basically is travers, but on a diagonal line. I'm going to show you the half pass from two different angles. First of all, from the C end, or the bottom end of the school. And then the other angle I'm going to show you from the diagonal. So you can see that all it is, is travers on a diagonal line. In the first two that I did, they look very different, but actually they're the same thing. People often mistake half pass for too much going to the side. And as from the third clip that I did, you could see that I was going far too much to the side, that I didn't end up on my line by M. Now really, all half pass is is travel on a diagonal line, which you should see by the second clip that we did. I hope this is helpful. They were my tips for today. They're just some of the things I do every day with my horses. I hope you find it interesting and valuable. Thanks for watching.